my God, that was an out-of-body experience. Perry, thank you, and extraordinary to be here, and extraordinary to feel the energy in this room. Perry, you are New York City's exemplar of journalism and public service, and the most wonderful friend there ever could be. Oh, so how marvelous it is to be here and back with New York back, and because of the dreams of so many in this room, and Sophia, we are never gonna get over listening to your dream coming true. And the work of... The work of literacy partners, which has made the Sophias of this city just blossom. So tonight as well, we celebrate something marvelous, the incredible return of our city. It is my deepest honor to get this award and to be anointed as a Lizzie and to share it with one of the great women of America, Mary Wells Lawrence, and with the Lizzie Award winners in this room. Um, it's, it's so, first, let's talk about Liz, the greatest of the great dames there ever was. So Liz Smith arrived from Texas to New York when Eisenhower was the president, and she checked into the Chelsea Hotel on West 23rd Street, and she opened her window, this girl from Gonzales, Texas, and she looked all around, up and down the street, and hollered out the window, hi, y'all, which way to town? True story. She then went on to invent a hybrid form of reporting that was true social history and a lot of fabulous gossip. In her own way, Liz was as much of a historian as her favorite biographer, David McCullough, who was a regular at these evenings. Liz took literacy as her great issue because it was urgent for her that everyone share the same joy she had creating her life in the city of dreams from what she learned from books. And what she was bringing with her was words. And she was going to report and gather information and tell stories using words and sentences and grammar and deep reading and literacy. And she came to understand as she rose, as her stories and reporting became widely known and shared and appreciated, that what was crucial to her success was crucial to everybody's. She was going to make sure everyone learned to read and write, and what could be a better gift than that? And it was my great gift to meet Liz not long after I arrived from South Texas, 20 years after she did. Liz encouraged and cajoled and helped point me to what has been the greatest job in the world. For 50 years, 50, I have been able to travel the world asking question after question after question, trying to understand the tapestry of what connects us all. But of all the extraordinary times to be a reporter, the most has been watching and observing and being part of New York City fight its way back through this pandemic. Here is what I learned. We are a theater, and whatever our feuds and conflicts, we have been united in this mission. I am here to tell you from Brooklyn to Queens to Washington Heights, it is the people of this great city who have brought our city back. And so many are in this room tonight. You did this, you did it. And so tonight, I dedicate this award to all of you and to all of New York and to our newest readers and to my extraordinary editors and incredible friends, Cynthia McFadden, Merrill, Leslie, and Perry, Susan, and my dearest co-conspirator, my husband, Ernie. Happy anniversary, sweetheart. <laughs> and, 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 and thank you so much, everyone at Literacy, Honors, Literacy Partners, for this tremendous honor.